and sad. Dan had a major project to do. They were working on a digital story of a book they had just read. Dan's story was very confusing. Nobody knew what was going on. The entire time it was full of uhs and ums. Nobody knew what Dan was talking about. Dan's teacher wasn't happy either. His entire story basically had no direction. What Dan needed to do ahead of time was storyboard. A storyboard is a digital represent or a graphical representation of the events in your digital story. It provides you with a map, some clear direction. So let's look at storyboarding so we figure out how we can plan our activities. Basically, you're planning out your frames of your story, much like little squares. So what happens first? What happens second? What happens third? And what happens fourth? When you're working on a digital story, you want to keep the characters and the events quite simple. You draw in the box exactly what would happen in your frame. You might want to label the shot and provide a brief description of some of the dialogue or events that you're trying to depict. Remember, when you're digital with your storyboard, you want to keep it simple. Have your characters and explain the action that is going on within the frame. So, for example, you could have your characters in the foreground. You may even choose to draw in your background, some snowy mountains, some clouds. But you want to get the action across in your video. In your, store, in your video, so you need to get the action across in your storyboard. And there are a couple of things. You could have a literal interpretation. So maybe in your story, it said the characters actually laughed out loud. Ha 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 ha! They laugh out loud. That is a literal interpretation. So in your description, you might write the characters laughed out loud. But sometimes as readers, we infer things. And when we do that, we might have figurative examples in our storyboard because we're going to have figurative examples of our in inferences in our story. So maybe one of your characters, he displayed some character traits that weren't so nice. He was mean. Some might even say evil. Grrr. There we have this is a figurative representation of this character's character traits. He doesn't have devil horns. Grrr. But we're doing that in our storyboard because we want to include that in our digital story. Letting our, letting our audience know that we are making an inference using figurative language. Grrr. So Dan decided he needed a map. He came up with his storyboard and planned out his story elements. One, two, three, and four. Now, Dan's happy. His story came out great, and he was able to share his ideas with his audience.